A sailor in a small sailboat encounters shifting winds. She sails two kilometers east, then three and a half kilometers southeast, and then an additional distance in an unknown direction. Her final position is 5.8 kilometers directly east of her starting point. Find the magnitude and direction of the third leg of the journey. We'll begin by drawing the coordinate system. The x-axis will be horizontal and will also serve as the east axis. The y-axis will be vertical and will also serve as the north axis. Let's indicate our scale on each axis by drawing several evenly spaced tick marks, where each tick mark represents one kilometer. Given where the final position is, I'm thinking eight tick marks on the x-axis should be sufficient. Let's now add the legs of our journey. The first leg of our journey takes the sailboat two kilometers east. The second leg of our journey finds our sailboat turning southeast, which is 45 degrees below the x-axis, then traveling for three and a half kilometers at 45 degrees below the x-axis. We are told where the sailboat ends up. The sailboat's final position is 5.8 kilometers directly east of the starting point, which is on the positive x-axis. Let's label our vectors A vector, B vector, C vector, and D vector where d vector is the resultant of vectors a, b, and c. The first leg of the journey is a vector. a vector is equal to a i hat, where a is the magnitude of vector a given as two kilometers. b vector is equal to b sub x i hat minus b sub y j hat, representing the two components of vector b, the magnitude of vector b is 3.5 kilometers. Let's come up with an algebraic expression for the components of vector b. So to do that, let's look at vector b relative to the x-axis. It's at an angle theta b below the positive x-axis. So theta b will designate being 45 degrees below the positive x-axis. The x component of vector b and the y component of vector b are the components of vector b. The x component of vector b is given as the magnitude of b cosine of theta b. The y component of vector b is the magnitude of b sine theta b. That leaves us with b vector is equal to b cosine of theta b i hat minus b sine theta b j hat. C vector is the third leg of our journey, and it also has an x component and a y component as revealed in our graph. We don't know what the value of vector c is, but that is what we're trying to find. Vector d is where we end up on our journey, the sum of vectors a, b, and c. Vector d is equal to di hat, 
the magnitude of vector d is 5.8 kilometers. Let's copy our four vectors and see if we can use the graph to come up with a formula. Our first vector is vector a. We then add vector b, followed by adding vector c, and that's equal to our resultant vector d. We now have the algebraic expression for vector a plus vector b plus vector c plus equals vector d. Let's isolate vector c by putting vectors a, b, and d on the opposite side. This means vector c is equal to d vector minus vector a minus vector b. Let's go ahead and factor the minus sign from vectors a and b. I'd rather add vector quantities than subtract them. Expressing each vector in terms of its components, we have d i hat minus the quantity a i hat plus the x component of vector b i hat minus the y component of vector b j hat. Distributing the minus sign means d i hat minus a i hat minus the x component of b i hat plus the y component of b j hat. Grouping the x components together, we have d minus a minus b sub x i hat plus b sub y j hat. Let's substitute our trigonometric functions for the components of vector b. We have taken this as far algebraically as we can, so let's now plug in numbers. 5.8 kilometers minus 2.0 kilometers minus 3.5 times the co kilometers times the cosine of 45 degrees. That's all I hat plus 3.5 kilometers times the sine of 45 degrees J hat. Using my calculator, I get that c vector is 1.33 kilometers i hat plus 2.47 kilometers j hat. Let's check this against our sketch. We see from our sketch that c vector has a positive x component around one unit and a positive y component between two and three units. This is in the same ballpark as our algebraic values. So we should feel good about our work and box our final answer.